Know Your Numbers is the name of the new public education campaign being led by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Their most recent stop was in Junction St. Elizabeth, and the Western Roundup team was there to capture the highlights. Stay with us. Jamaicans across the island are being urged to take care of their health and make regular checkups part of their routine. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has taken to the streets with its Know Your Numbers campaign, where some 500,000 free screening tests will be administered to the public for the 2023-2024 calendar year. The call comes as there has been an increase in the number of lifestyle ailments, such as diabetes and hypertension among the population. A lot of people walking around with high blood pressure and with, they call it hypertension, right? Doctor call it that. And they don't know that they have high blood pressure until they get a stroke. God forbid anything like that should happen to any of us. A lot of people are walking around and they don't know until they get a heart attack. A lot of people are walking around with diabetes. We call it sugar. And they don't know until one day they reach the doctor and the doctor says the kidney now function or you have poor circulation and you have to cut off the leg or cut off the hand. If they had known the numbers, if they knew that they had high blood pressure, if they knew that they were prone to diabetes, then the doctor could give you medication, change your diet, tell you to exercise, and all of a sudden, you'd bring things under control. You understand? We have too many people went up in the hospital, and they only go to the hospital when they find out that they're sick. What Know Your Numbers is intended to do is to help people not to be sick to control your condition. Not wrong with enjoy yourself, but sometimes you have to cut back on this and cut back on that. Moderation, balance, okay? During the most recent campaign held in Junction St. Elizabeth, scores of residents turned out to benefit from the services being offered. I've just registered and um, I've done the, um, my height and the BMI and I do my blood sugar, um, my blood test. I'm moving on to the next tent, I think, to do the um, cholesterol. I would encourage, especially the men, to come out and know about your cholesterol, blood sugar, especially for those who work in the sun. Right about now, you know, maybe I do some tests where, we, you know, St. Elizabeth people love to know about them health. So we love to know that we help in good talk. So. We come and take advantage of these good things that the government have to offer inside of St. Elizabeth. So right now, we just do me, um, sir, me got three boots already and I head off to about, about 15 more. Why? I to do some more tests, we have to have a, a million dollars to do some more tests. I have done my blood pressure check already, weight and height, and I'm moving on to cholesterol and HIV tests now. I find the event very great, it's a good initiative, you know, a lot of persons find it difficult to go to the doctor and get checkups. It, it was a good experience and it's good to know your status and I will encourage anyone to know their status in this healthcare system. Through the regional health authorities, the ministry will repurpose its COVID-19 mobile units to offer more mobile screening services across the island through its community outreach programs. Core services to be offered include screening for body mass index, hypertension, diabetes, vision, cholesterol, and HIV and syphilis. Expanded services will include ECG, prostate cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, colorectal cancer, dementia, frailty and immunization. The program will also feature a pathway to care which ensures that once diagnosed with any chronic illness, persons can immediately be referred into treatment. And that's all for the program today. As usual, thanks for joining us on this episode of Western Roundup, where we take you from the corners of St. Elizabeth to the hilly terrains of St. Anne. Remember to send your feedback to jismobay at jis.gov.jm. 
Until next time, stay safe. Bye.